Greetings, house kids. Eric here. I want to first start by saying thank you to those that sent me your artwork last week from the lesson last week. I love looking at it. Each piece of artwork is totally different and it's because you guys are all different. Everyone's unique. I love seeing your artwork. So thanks for sending that to me. Uh, you can keep sending me your artwork, eric at buildingsolidlives.org. My email is going to be in the description below. This week, we are getting into when God created people. All right. Last week, we talked about when God created from nothing the universe, the earth that we're on right now, the animals, everything about it. God created it from nothing, and it was all good. Now we're getting into when he created people created us. So he started, as we know, with Adam. He created Adam from the dust of the earth and he breath, breathed his breath, his life into him. All right. And then Adam's there and Adam's chilling with the animals, enjoying all this great goodness that God just created. But even though he was having a relationship with God, he had all this cool earth and animals and stuff to hang out with, something wasn't quite perfect. God noticed that he was lonely. And I think we can kind of all relate to that a little bit right now. I mean, we're all cooped up in our homes still for a little bit. Can't wait till this is over. But, you know, I have friends, you have friends that you probably miss, you haven't seen in a while. It's because we were created to have relationships. We were created to be with other people. And Adam wasn't, he was just by himself. So God created Eve. And so then we had Adam and Eve and they hung out and had a relationship together. They got to experience all of God's cool stuff that he was doing and what he already did by creating everything. So that's what you're learning about today in today's lesson. There's two things I really want you kids to take away from this that, uh, about God creating people because he created us for reasons. He didn't just create us just to, he doesn't do stuff on accident. God does everything on purpose. He means to do everything that he does. So the first thing is this, remember this, God created us in his image. He created us to be like him. We're not like any of the other things here on this planet. We're creating his image and he's special, which makes you special. The other thing that you need to remember is that uh, regarding this lesson is that God created us to love him. He made us to love him. He also made us so that he could love us. It's a relationship, right? It's give and take. And we have to remember that. We have to remember that, that God wants us, our, our main reason is to love him. And you ask yourself, well, how do we love God? Because God has everything he really needs, right? He's God. We can't like, can't give him something. Here, God, I, I made this cool artwork. This is for you. You know, I, I, I'm going to give you money, God. He, he doesn't really need things. But remember, he created us to have a relationship with him. So the way we love God is to pray. And all praying is is just talking with God, just having a communication line with him. You know, he wants that. He wants that relationship to communicate with us. So praying, reading our Bible, which is reading about God. And the other thing that, that we can do to love God is to love others. Because you got to remember that God created all people. And he created all people in his image, just like you and me. So God loves it when we love others because he loves them too. So those are the takeaways from this lesson I want you guys to remember. Now I have a lot of stuff in the description below. I have the video for this week's Bible story. You can watch that. But, and I have a lot of other um, uh, stuff here. First, let me, actually before I, there's a lot of stuff, so hold on a sec. I'm gonna get into the craft for this week. The only reason why we have a craft is because Mrs. Robin Good ended up making a craft for all you kids because she loves you and she told me she misses you all so much. So she made these, <laughs> all right? And I think they're amazing. Uh, and it's basically you get to create your own people. All right, this isn't what you're gonna get. This is, this is Mrs. Good's finished product, right? So we'll get back to that in a second. What you get are these papers right here, this one and this one. It's kind of boring to start with. 
and you get to make it really cool and exciting. So you can print these out, you can print them out on regular paper if you have it. If you have a thicker paper like stock card, you could use that too, that'd be good. But then you can cut these out and you can decorate them however you want. The thing is, is the rule here is we're stuck in our homes right now. So you gotta use whatever's around your house. As an example, Mrs. Robin used for his shirt, it's just stuff from, she went through a magazine. Maybe you might have a magazine laying around that your mom and dad's done with or you're done with. And you can look for cool pictures and you can cut them out into the right shapes and you can glue it on. She actually used like rice. You can see rice and she glued rice on for his hair. Um, this one, as you can see, is spaghetti. So just be creative. God created you to be creative just like him because you are made in God's image and we know that God made all this amazing thing. So have fun with that. That's gonna be in the description in the Dropbox. Uh, that's, there's a Dropbox folder down, down below, parents, so you can click on that. Within that Dropbox, you're also gonna have this week's coloring page. God created people in his own image and he loves us, so you can do that. I also have a couple little activity sheets. One is called Image Match, and you see there's five little pictures here, but only two of them are identical. So the whole challenge and the idea of this is you gotta figure out which two are exactly the same and circle those. Be careful though, because there's only small little differences you might not notice. You have to look very careful at that. And then one that's a little more challenging for you if you're up to it, there's a crossword puzzle here. If you need your parents' help, you can, you can ask them. And then this is a, a little um, connect the dots. So it's good with your numbers if you wanna work on your numbers. Start on number one and you draw a line from one to two, two to three, three to four, five, six, seven, eight, boom. And in the end, that'll make a, a little picture of Adam and Eve. So that's included in there. But there's more. <laughs> what? There's more? It's bonus week, because you know why? Today is Sunday, April 5th. It's Palm Sunday. Next week, one week from today, is Easter. And so Palm Sunday is when we celebrate when Jesus came into town on a donkey into Jerusalem to prepare himself uh, to go on the cross and die for our sins and be resurrected so that death can be defeated forever and so that we can have that relationship that God originally wanted with us. So we're gonna celebrate that. I have a video for a YouTube video on Palm Sunday that's also included down below in the description. And in that Dropbox, there's one extra coloring page. Wait, this is the one I already showed you. There's an extra coloring page somewhere in there. Here it is, found it. So I have a lot of, a lot of goodies for you this week. Uh, and there's Jesus on a donkey. There's like the palm fronds. People welcome Jesus to Jerusalem as their king. So I got a lot of stuff for you. Happy Palm Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. Again, send me your artwork. I love seeing it. Uh, it's great. So anyways, miss you guys. You guys take it easy. Enjoy your week. See you next week on Easter.